Hello. Happy Thursday, although it's not actually Thursday when you're watching this. This gets released tomorrow and you might be watching it on a completely different day to Thursday. But anyway, happy Thursday, another episode. Welcome. This episode is called How to Not Care What People Think. And that is like such a big thing because that's what we all do. We're, we're too busy all the time wondering what other people think about us, which also brings anxiety and um, constant wondering about the worst case scenario that could happen. So this idea for this episode came from a lovely girl called Bella, who I've just recently connected with. Um, I'm going to put her um, Instagram follow in the show notes, so you should definitely follow her. She's a personal trainer. She's really, really cool. Um, and she asked me that how to deal with all this anxiety and stress and worry about what other people think about you. So she doesn't really have that much anymore, but she used to suffer with that a lot and she thinks it would help other people if I address this issue. So I have a few questions for you as always. So imagine being worried like what other people think about you all the time and imagine constantly being stressed and worrying about everything that could go wrong and imagine always being busy like I said with wondering about what people think about you or worrying if you did something to upset them or if they're off with you or imagine analyzing everything from spending time with friends or work colleagues like was I funny enough or like did I say the right thing or I wonder what they think of me well does any of that sound familiar? Because unfortunately, this is how most people think and this is what most people deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And there is definitely a way that is completely opposite to all of this. And when you reach that state, it's so free and powerful. And basically, let's be honest, it all comes down to not giving a shit about what people think. And just do you, right? But it's a lot easier said than done. So how can you reach this level of like self-empowerment as to not really give a monkey's what anyone else thinks about you? So let's get honest about what I mean by what people think. So everyone judges you, period. Everyone judges everybody else. People will think good things about you. They will think bad things about you. And that's just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about that. But what does that mean? All that means is every single person in this world has their own views and their own opinions on everything. And they have different values to us. And that's absolutely fine because if everyone was the same, the world would be a really boring place. So that's just the way it is, right? So what can we do about that? Nothing. You can't do anything about that. You can't control what people think and if you try and spend your life doing that or worrying what people are thinking because you don't know anyway because they're thinking it unless they say it to you then why stress and worry because you can't please everybody people are going to have mean thoughts about you but also people are going to have good thoughts about you so that's just the way it is there's a there's a saying I absolutely love and I know I say I love loads of sayings but this saying is amazing it's by Rachel Hollis um, she's a famous um, inspirational woman and she says what other people think about you is none of your business like I will say that again so what other people think about you is none of your business and that can't be further from the truth right if you spend your whole life worrying about what other people think of you First of all, you're just completely wasting your life your life away. And no matter what you do, you can't control what people think and nor should you want to. But it sounds silly and obvious when I say it like that, like we can't control what people think. But that's what most of us are busy trying to do or at least know what people think or at least analyse what people think. It's always what people will think. So how many times have you been desperate for people to like you and you'll do anything to people please because you're just so desperate to be liked? Or how many times have you not done something because you were scared of what others might think about you or you might or you'd be scared that you might fail and then what you what you what that will look like for you which ultimately comes down to what people will think about you again and how many times have you worried 
about something bad happening, like it, if you were doing an event or you were doing a gym class or you were just going somewhere or doing something and you've worried that much and you've had that much anxiety over it, you've either not done the thing, so you've cancelled or you've said, okay, I'm not doing it, or you've just caused yourself so much stress and anxiety leading up to that event and just because you're worried what other people will think, like... How many times have you done that? So let's be honest, worrying what other people think absolutely sucks. And the reality is, so when we think about the worst case scenario or um, what someone's thinking about us or have you done something to upset somebody, 99% of the time, that's not scientific facts by the way, but it's from personal experience and I did try and Google analytics on this and I couldn't find much apart from business worst case scenario risks, but you will know yourself 99% of the time, all the things that you're worrying about never ever come true anyway. So you're doing all this worrying for absolutely no reason because that doesn't even come true for you. So let's say a friend, say if you're worrying about a friend, like you you, you see a friend and you're, you're like almost positive that they saw you and then for some reason they've not said hello back or they seemed funny or off with you. So first of all, it has absolutely nothing to do with you even though you think it does, but that friend could be going for a really hard time and not might actually not actually want to speak to you about it because then they'll get upset and they might not feel comfortable getting upset. They might have had a really shit or busy day and they're just, even though you thought that they saw you, they've just not seen you or acknowledged you. So it's not about you, it's about them. And you can't decide that they're being funny with you or you're constantly thinking, oh, scanning your brain, like, oh, what have I done to upset them? Maybe the comment I made on so-and-so's post has, like, annoyed them or maybe I didn't message you properly or, like, you're just constantly looking for a reason for them to be annoyed at you. But stop being busy with worrying about that because it has nothing to do with them and it's all it has nothing to do with you and it's all to do with them. So just do your thing and stop worrying. Again, easier said than done. The funniest thing is, and I, I learned this at the Landmark Forum. I've been on a, a, me and my man have been on a course called the Landmark Forum. Check it out. It's like a, it's really hard to describe. It's like a psychological self-development wisdom kind of course. It's like a really intense course. It's all over the world and ours was in Amsterdam. But anyway, the, the biggest takeaway I got from that was, this is funny. The funny thing is everybody is so busy worrying about what you think about them whilst you're worrying what they think about you so let me say that again so most people well everybody is worrying what you think about them yeah <laughs> everyone is worrying what um you think about them whilst you're worrying what they think about you right it's silly okay but it's so true so another reason not to worry is because they're not even worrying about you anyway because they're too busy worrying about what you're thinking about them so I think that's quite funny and that is like so true in this day and age and another reason to really make an effort not to worry is because worrying stress and anxiety raises your cortisol levels in your body which is a stress hormone and that puts your body into fight or flight mode which means when your body is in fight or flight mode it cannot be in rest relax and digest mode because it can only be in one or the other and if you're constantly stressed and anxious and worried, then your body's going to be under chronic stress, which causes so much um, negative um, reactions in your body. So it can really affect your health and your body in a negative way and you sleep and everything. So just for the sake of worrying something you can't control, then you're just going to cause like loads of negativity to happen in your body. So make a massive effort to listen to what I'm saying to you today to then stop worrying less, it's great. So what can we do about it then? So let's take a future event as an example. So if I feel that fear is creeping in about something, I like to get my journal out or pen and paper or whatever and then I write down, okay, so worst case scenario, best case scenario, 
and then I look at the worst case and best case scenario and then if I'm totally okay with either, obviously I have a preference for the best case scenario, but if you're looking at the worst case scenario, which again, 99% chance it's not going to happen, realistically, you're not going to die, are you, if that actually happened. So although you might feel uncomfortable if it happened, or you might not like the outcome, you're realistically not going to die. So but then if you look at the best case scenario, like imagine all the amazing things that could happen from doing this thing. So get your journals out and write down worst case scenario, best case scenario of the thing that you're worried about. And then another good thing to do is look back at a time in your life or times, plural, because there'll be loads of times where you have been really worried about something um, and you've stressed yourself out and you've been really anxious and you've done the thing or the things happened and it didn't it wasn't even that bad and then you kind of like oh well I don't know what I was all worrying and stressing about right so how many times has that happened in your life where you've thought that after you've been worried for so long and it wasn't even that bad so that's just proof so it just proves to your brain that it's okay, I, there's no need to be worried because this is the evidence that when I do worry, things never turn out the way I think, they turn out better. So that just really helps concrete in your mind like what is most likely to happen, that's a positive thing. So I give me as, as an example. So anyone that has been following me, um, thank you by the way, and anyone that's new, hi, welcome. Um, I have started teaching Body Pump and now spin as well, yay, at my um, gym, well, a few different gyms in my area, and I was, I actually manifested this into reality, by the way, and if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, check out my episode called The Amazon Universe, um, about the law of attraction and all of that, so anyway, that's a different, different story, so I attracted that into my life, and I became the opportunity to be a body pump instructor and bef I was so nervous about doing the first couple of classes because I haven't done a group lesson before, I haven't taught a group lesson and the language barrier, I live in the Netherlands, I'm English, I know a little bit of Dutch but not enough to have a conversation so I was really worried about the language barrier and if I could even do it, if I could even teach a, an exercise class, right? So I wrote down my worst case scenario and the worst case scenario was, so I'm writing this in the, as if back then what might happen. So worst case scenario, I will mess up all the moves, I'll forget what I'm doing, no one will understand me and I'll look like an idiot. Right, so that's the worst case scenario. So what does that mean then? So it means that if this ended up happening, the worst possible outcome for that would be that I'd feel like an idiot. Well, so what? Like, I know that I am not my emotions and I am not my thoughts. And I know, some people might disagree, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I know that I'm not an idiot, it's okay to feel like an idiot, it's okay to feel emotions, whether it's positive or negative emotions, but you are and I am not my emotions, so I'm not going to die, the gym's not going to burn down, like, so what, like, does that mean other people will think I'm an idiot, maybe, maybe not, they might do, they might not, and again, so what? It's no big deal. I could just either try again till I get it right and then just keep improving and getting better or just give up and just go back to what I was doing before. It's like, that's it, not the end of the world. Or the best case scenario um, could be um, that I absolutely nail it and I remember everything and even if I don't, it doesn't matter because I know what I'm doing anyway with regards to fitness. I can just improvise, make it up, no one will even notice or even care and the language will be fine because it's not a speaking class, it, they're watching my body movement and they can still feel my energy anyway when I'm talking um, and they're going to all love me and do you know what happened? The last the last, the, le the later one happened, like, and I was worrying for no reason, and I wrote those down, and also, by the way, what does it mean if 
the best case scenario happen like it did. So it doesn't mean I'm a better person or I have more self-worth because people loved me and they're gonna come to my classes again. It just means that it went well and I'm gonna continue doing classes because I don't base my self-worth on what other people think about me. Yes, it's nice to be liked and it's nice to do like a good job, but it doesn't mean anything. So it does come down to that as well. And remember that um, what will be will be and whether it's the best case, worst case, middle case, whatever, what will be will be and anything is perfect. It, everything's supposed to happen the way it's going to happen. So you can't fight life. You make decisions and you make choices with the options you have in life. And then that will take you down a certain path. And if you don't like the path, then that's fine. Just make a different choice or whatever. Like just X, if you stop fighting against life as well and just accept that it is what it is, whatever will be will be, que sera, sera, whatever that song is, then you're going to be in a better mindset and you're going to be a lot, a lot, lot happier in life. So to reduce your anxiety and worry then, you could, if you, if you want to pause this, do it now or in the future, just think about what you've learned today, um, write down for yourself the worst case and best case scenarios maybe something that you're worrying about or do worry about or even with regards to if someone's being funny with you or you think they're being off with you then don't put it all on you look at the bigger picture and then you'll feel a lot less stressed and anxious about things so another reason like have you ever wondered why do I always think negative all the time like automatically your brain is just like looking for the worst case scenario. So there is a reason for that. So our brains have what we call negativity bias. And what that means is it's constantly looking for negative things, which is not helpful. But if that's because when we were cavemen and women, um, our brain needed to be on the lookout for danger. So it was like finding a problem to keep us alive. So it's actually a survival instinct. So whereas back in the day, um, uh, what I'm saying, back in the day, your brain will be looking for tigers and bears or wolves or wherever, you, wherever it is that you lived. But, and that was the, the stress and that was the worry of your life. But these days, you're worrying more about whether someone's messaged you back or not, or whether someone says something mean to you, or what someone's thinking. So, although it's completely different in context, it's actually the same, and your body goes into the, that same response, like I said. So, you, what your brain also likes to do is problem solve. And so, if you haven't got a problem, it finds a problem for it to then solve. So our brains are absolutely amazing things and I think, well, I know it's the human brain is the most complex, most misunderstood object in the whole entire universe. It's just, they're amazing. Um, but they also work against us because of how much we have, we've have evolved. So they look for negativity and they like to problem solve, which means if you have no problems, it likes to find one. So you, you're constantly working to solve a problem. So <laughs> we can only change this by becoming aware, first of all, of our what our brain's doing, the negativity bias, and then making a constant effort to replace the negative thoughts with positive ones. And the more you do that, the more it gets easier. It's just practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, because there's no such thing as perfect. Practice makes progress. So the more you do that, the more your brain will automatically change from negative to positive, because you're always gonna have fear, you're always gonna have worries, but it's whether or not you let that take over because you're human, that's just how your brain works. It's up to you though, because you are in control of your thoughts when you have those thoughts, what you do about them. So remember, you always have the power, always. And the juiciest bit that I want to talk about today is why are you so bothered about what people think? Why? Why are you so bothered what people think about you? And I'll tell you why. It's because you don't love yourself or value yourself enough 
by yourself. That's why you're so worried about what others think of you. So if you believed in what you stood for in this world, and if you believe in what values you follow, then you really wouldn't care about what anyone else thinks. Obviously, you're going to be, you're going to have some form of care with what loved ones say about you because you care about them. So obviously you care about their opinion. But even still, you can take their opinion of you or what they say about you and with love and look at it and think, oh, could I learn from that? Or is there any truth in what they're saying? And then either decide to do something differently or don't. And either way, if you love yourself in here, it, it really does it really, really doesn't matter because what no matter what anybody says about you as long as you value yourself and you feel in your heart that what you do day to day is the right thing it really doesn't matter what people think and it's it's the best feeling ever and let's just be honest people will think mean things about you people will say mean things to you but you can't please everybody no matter what you do so why not please yourself like that's the only thing you can do in this world that is going to, that's, well, I don't like to say right or wrong, but why waste time worrying about what other people think when they're going to think mean thoughts anyway? And all that actually matters is what you think because you can't please everybody no matter what you do. So it's really eye-opening. And a close friend of mine actually told me um, a few weeks ago some negative things that someone was saying about me. And it didn't affect me in the slightest. And that is because I listened to what she was saying. I also um, explored if, there, if what she was saying had any truth in it. And if I could learn from that, what, you know, what her views and opinions of me were. And I, I just believe in, I believe in what I'm doing I believe in the values that I live to and I believe in the way that I treat people because I always treat people with love from my heart and I always do the best that I can. So at this moment with the knowledge I have in the world, I'm happy with who I am. So it doesn't matter what someone thinks about me because it doesn't matter because I'm happy with myself. So that's not an arrogant statement to say that I'm never wrong and I never want to learn. Of course, I am so open to being wrong because then I can learn. And I'm so open to learning about everything and just improving and being as knowledgeable and as wise as possible so that I can then also help other people. But because at the moment, day to day, until I learn more, I'm happy with who I am and what I stand for, it really doesn't affect me. And before, like a year ago maybe, I would have been uh, like quite angry about what was said and I would have been nasty back maybe, but I actually looked at it from her point of view and wondered, well, I wonder why she thinks that of me. And I looked at it from her point of view and from a place of love, because I'm doing things, we have reasons for thinking things, for feeling things, there's a reason for everything. And it's just exploring those reasons and always look at it from a place of love and then you'll get really far in life and you just feel happy along the way. So I want to empower you to feel free and like carefree and just not care what other people think. So let's just recap the six things to remember. So go out and practice this. Practice challenging those negative thoughts and journaling about the worst case, best case scenarios. And number one, you cannot please everybody. So please yourself first. What other people think about you. Number two, what other people think about you is none of your business. Number three, what other people think about you has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. So it's all about them, what they think about you. Number four, everyone is too busy worrying about what you think about them whilst you're worrying about what they think about you. <laughs> I like that one. And train your brain. Number five, train your brain to think positively. And number six, practice self-love and practice living to your core values and then if you have all of those your life will just be so much more like oh my god it doesn't even matter what people think like 
wow, I'm just going to do anything and everything because it doesn't matter anymore because just do your best with what you can and that's all you can do, right? So I want you to go out there and challenge yourself with something you were scared of maybe because you were worrying what other people would think about you. I want you to challenge yourself to write down um, times when you have overcome these things and everything worked out fine. There'll be loads of them. And also the worst case and best case scenarios of things that you're worried about. And good luck. If you need any help, I'm actually taking one-to-one coaching clients this month. So send me a DM. Love to have a chat with you. And as always, go. you can have, be and do like anything you want. So just go out there and go and get it. And don't worry what people think. It's amazing. See you next time.